based on what has happened here before. I find myself wanting to clear uh, the record with you people. You were really rude to me before. That's, you were really rude. No. You were really rude. You were really rude. Every time I say something that's difficult for me to say, I let out a little... I've noticed that about myself. I'm going to try to omit the... When I speak to you about your behavior. I get nervous. I start speaking weird behavior. I, uh... I talked to my mom the other day. I was telling her about how rude you were to me. I do that. When I don't know how to process my own internal wounding, I go to my mom. Don't laugh. A lot of people don't have moms to go to. And I figure that while my mom is still alive, I'm gonna go to her with my problems. Doesn't make me a mommy's boy. It makes me smart. Mom. Well, it's good to see you, son. What can I do for you? They mistreated me at the post office, Mom. I, uh, I thought about you really quick. I was there and I was trying to compose myself when they told me that the media rate for shipping my books was not as cheap. Such as mom, I should say inexpensive. It was not as inexpensive as it used to be. And the president is to blame. Inflation. Mom. Inflation. Well, I'm really sorry to hear that, son. What can I do for you? Well, mom, I just need some uh, I need some somebody to talk to. Well, your mom's always here for you, son. Yeah, mom, I know. Thank you so much for that. I looked at that post office person. Yes. Mom, what's her name? Whose name, son? The post office person, where they've got a special name, the people that are behind the plexiglass. You know? The ones that are looking in the computers and talking to you and putting stamps on your envelopes and weighing. What are the names? Post office master? General? Post general? Son, I don't know. <laughs> Mom. How am I supposed to tell a story, Mom? If I can't get any kind of collaborative input from you, Mom. Okay, I'm sorry, Mom. I have got to get this off of my chest. It is a burden. They were rude to me when I questioned the new parcel rates for the media. See, Mom. When I want to send books from here back to my home after I've been visiting you and, and pillaging the thrift stores of their great deals, not pillaging as in stealing, but pillaging as in ransacking and grabbing these books and these DVDs and all of these great things, I put them in a box. Mom, you know the story. Oh, I know. I know. I'm, I'm really proud of you, son. Thank you. I find the best deals. They are ideals. If there's a deal in the neighborhood, I'm on it. It's got to be a deal with a book or a DVD if I'm in there. CDDs, CDDs, oh. CDs, I get excited too. They're not so much of an appeal or an attraction to me, Mom, but son, you just keep talking the way you need to talk and just. 
you know, it's, it's something that runs in the family. We just start stumbling over our words. It's okay, son. Oh, I'm a little nervous now, too. I, I want to hold space for you, because I know you were triggered at the post office. I was so triggered. What good is it, Mom? What good is it? You're going out, and you're scouring the landscape for deals. You're going, and you're looking for the best-priced books, and DVDs, and sometimes CDs, and you amass. <laughs> you amass this repository of great deals. Mom, 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 I got so many good deals the other day when I went to Goodwill. And then I go and talk to the Postmaster General. That's her fucking name. And I say, well, I'd like to send these bargains back home. Because I'm visiting my mom now, and she's down south, and I'm up north. And so I come down, and I visit my mom, and I go out, and I'm a hunter-gatherer. I'm out there, and I'm gathering the bargains from the thrift stores. Son, you tell the best stories. I'm just riveted. Thank you, Mom. I need to tell these stories so you will be emotionally invested in my travail. When I get to the climax, Mom, uh, son, don't, please don't use that word with your mother. When I get to the... I don't know what else to call it, Mom. When I get to the crescendo of my story, you've got to be here and you've got to let it land. It's got to affect you. You've got to get excited by the story of me. At the postmaster, Mom. <laughs> that woman. I don't know what was wrong with her, but she gave me the look when I gave her the talk. I said, ma'am, there is no way that this media rate is appropriate. I'm just sending these books and the few DVDs. The DVDs still get the, the media coverage package rate. You with me, Mom? Oh, God, son, you, you, you got me captivated. I'm riveted. Calm down, Mom. I said, ma'am, pardon me, I'm a little bit nonplussed. I'm a little bit perplexed. I'm a little tiny bit discombobulated with this new media package rate for sending my books through the mail. There's no... I'm sorry, Postmaster General. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's where that little came in. I know, son, you got that from your father. And in the time that he got really anxious when he was telling a story, because you know what runs in the family, he would be the... <laughs> to, it was the way to kind of... I don't know why he did that. Mom, I'm going to need your emotional support later. I am in the middle of this story with the postmaster. Don't interrupt me. It's disrespectful. Well, son, if, if, if that's... Mom, well, stay with me. Where was I? You were talking about the postmaster. Yes. We had a moment there. Me and the Postmaster General. Ma'am. No. If I should be talking to you or the manager of the post office about this matter, but ever since this administrator came into the Oval Office, prices seem to have gone up. I don't know if you've noticed. That's not fair. That's basically a tax. Okay? Inflation is a tax. Okay? I won't... Ma'am. Ma'am! 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 Ma don't give me that look on your eye. Don't roll your eyes at me. I am a tax... Well, I was a tax-paying citizen of the United States until it all went to hell. Ma'am, don't you dare... <laughs> yeah. You may be the Postmaster General, but you can't roll your eyes at me, ma'am. Oh, my God. Did she roll her eyes at you, son? Oh, yeah, Mom. The Postmaster General rolled her eyes at me. Now, she denied being the Postmaster General. I... I 
think she was the postmaster general. She was one of those people who was at one point in time very high ranking in the whole post office industrial complex of the United States of the America and she retired. This is this is what I saw in her eyes. She retired. And she was at home licking stamps. And she said, I can't stay retired anymore. Because that's people who work their whole lives, they derive a sense of self-worth from working all the time. It's obvious the postmaster general is the same caliber of person. And I banged on the plexiglass and I said, ma'am, I need an exemption. And she was looking at me like she was inhabited. it. Oh my God, you actually banged on the plexiglass. That is, way to go, son. Yeah, mom, it was a kind of a heroic moment for me. I banged on the plexiglass and I looked the postmaster general in the eyes and I said, I'm not getting that inflation tax on my media package. And then the postmaster general looked me in the eyes said, it'll be $400 for 25 pounds worth of books. My jaw dropped. My jaw dropped, Mom. That's where I got... Triggered. Super triggered. Super, super triggered. I don't want to go to jail. I just want to get my books from the south to the north without a civil war between me and a postmaster. The postmaster general. Postmaster general S. Postmaster general's daughter. I don't know what her official title was, Mom. Don't give me that look. Don't expect perfection in this narrative. There's no perfection in the narrative. The narrative isn't complete. I don't know. I'm surmising. I'm interpolating and extrapolating. Drop it. Stop looking at me like I'm your least favorite son. I know you've got a few more. Oh, I don't think of you boys as my favorites or my least favorite, although you're probably not my favorite favorite, but I, you're not my least favorite. You might be my third favorite out of four. Mom, I came to you for emotional support. I just had a conflict. I just had a fight. Postmaster General of the United States because of fucking inflation. I'm not paying 400 US dollars to send 25 pounds of books that I bought at Goodwill. I bought them at Goodwill to make a deal, to have a deal. Not that I'm selling them on Amazon or anything. I'm not selling them on Amazon. It's for my personal library. People ask me, oh my God, how'd you get so many books? Thrift stores. Aren't you gonna read all those books? No. Do you read all the books in the library? No. So don't look at me like that, Mom. It's, 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 it's there so that I could read them if I wanted to read them. I may not read any of them. It doesn't fucking matter. Don't stand in judgment on me, Mom. You already told me I'm your third favorite son. Anyways, there was a big line forming behind me, and I just, I just turned around and I said, hey, I don't know if you guys are sending books anywhere, but the media rate has fucking inflated. post gesture did manual. Yeah, I know. I wasn't exactly English, but I wasn't exactly human in that moment. I was frothing at the bit. Frothing. Do not impose this new tax. Because taxation without representation is a Boston Tea Party baby. That was the dividing line. That's what started the Civil War in the United States. Oh, son, you tell the best stories. I know, Mom. And you've got dementia, so we're a good team. <laughs> the Civil War started that day. You know, there was a lot of bullshit happening in the Ukraine. Everybody was thinking the war was going to start there, World War III. No! 
the world war began at the post office between me and the post office general whatever postmaster general that's where the world war started it started off as a civil war it was really a revolutionary war that was actually world war three because I don't accept inflation. It's a tax. And taxation without representation is the revolutionary war. That's where we're at right now. And when the revolutionary war started, boom, everything fell apart. Pax Americana, gone. Civil war, evident. Civil war mushroomed into World War Three. And everybody wanted a seat on the moon for that one. Mom, I came here to tell you to pack your bags. We're going to the moon. Oh, son, I would love to go to the moon. Yeah, well, we're going. Yeah, how are you going? I haven't figured that out yet. But it's happening now. I'm going to be taking my library with me because there's going to be no library on the moon. Oh, son, you know that's not true. Oh, okay. Yo, yeah, oh, no, no, no. I've been doing some research on the moon. Yeah. Yes, I have, son. All right, Mom. What's going on with the moon? Oh, lots of extraterrestrial interference with the moon. The moon's actually a base. A base? Yes, the moon is a base. Oh, that's fun. Mom, where'd you get that from? Oh, YouTube. I've been watching. I've been watching the videos. YouTube is where it's at, son. Now, you have got the great stories, and I think you should be on YouTube, because you would fit right in. I would fit in with YouTube. Oh, son. The way that you tell stories and the way that YouTube tells stories is this is like it's, it's just a match made in heaven. Oh, all right. Well, what'd you learn about the moon, Mom? Well... I learned that the moon is actually a base. It's a space base. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah, it's a space base, son. All sorts of extraterrestrials go into the backside of the moon. The moon is actually not a, 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 like a rock that's like solid. It's hollow. It's hollow. Yes. That's why. You only see one side of it. You never see the other side. Did you notice that side? Ah, uh, you know what? Now that you say it so, I think so. Yeah, I think I have noticed that. It's true. Because all the spaceships are coming in the backside. Well, I, I actually heard about this thing called tidal lock. Which is why the moon is always facing us as it goes around us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they tell you. Conspiracy theory was invented. That term was invented by the... FBI, I think, or CIA, FBI, after Kennedy was shot. Ma, whoa, 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 what son? He was shot. Yeah, I know he was shot. He was shot by the bad guys. Okay, yeah, well, no, don't, yeah, well, me. He was shot by the bad guys, the ones who are responsible for all the evil in the world. They've got a base on the moon. Yeah, the base on the moon, the moon is that thing that sends out that signal to all of us and controls our minds. Wow, mom, I like that. So what you're saying is we're gonna go up there to the moon and we're gonna come face to face with the evil people who have fucked up this planet? Well, son, I can't guarantee that we're going to come face to face with those entities. They're not really human. Okay, Mom. Take over the storyline. What are we gonna be doing? How are we gonna get over there, up there? Well, I have a lot of friends that I've been connecting to in chat rooms on uh, the internet. Okay, Mom. <laughs> Listen, I gotta tell you, I'm game. I'm game because 
right now, if I can't get my books up north through the media delivery rate, if I gotta pay 400 fucking dollars for that, 400 fucking dollars for that, I am ready, mom. I am ready for anything. Cause this world is fucking falling apart. Yes it is, son. It's been falling apart ever since Kennedy was shot. Well, yeah. The bad guys were around for much longer than that. They've got, they've got a base up on the moon. I don't know if you know that. Mom, you just told me that. I know, but I like to repeat things for special effects. So where are we going to be meeting these uh, friends of yours that you met on the internet? Well, they haven't told me yet. But probably someplace downtown. Oh, why downtown? Because that's where they have the underground tunnels. Mom? Yeah. They've got underground tunnels downtown. And have you ever heard of the term dumbs? Dumbs? Yeah, 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 uh, dumbs. No, I haven't heard that. Yeah. No, I haven't. Well, I know you haven't. They're called deep underground military bases. I thought you said underground tunnels. Yes, the underground tunnels go to deep underground military bases. And that's where the spaceships are. Wow, Mom. Well, seeing as this planet is being ripped apart, seeing as there's so many things that are happening Ma, that don't make any sense, that challenge our minds, I have opened my mind a lot lately because shit's been happening. Ma I'm sorry, Mom. I want you to know that my mind has opened up a lot. I know, son. I've been watching it. It's been amazing. I was wondering when you were going to catch up. Well, I'll tell you when I was going to catch up. When I fucking go to the post office and talk to the postmaster general who wants to charge me $400. That's when I wake up and I see it. I see it. I'm like, why is there always fuckery on this fucking planet? The fuckery doesn't go away. And then I've got to go to the moon to get rid of the fuckery, and that's where the most fuckery exists! Tell me, Mom, how does it get better? Tell me how we get out of this, because it's really fucking with me good. Well, son, you know, what I've been reading in the chat rooms and the videos I've been watching on YouTube, see... But we're just one planet. We're kind of like basically a slave race. And we're waking up right now. But it's not necessarily better on other planets. There are other humans on other planets. What? Oh, other humans on other planets. What videos have you been watching, Mom? Oh, I've been watching really great videos. Okay. And what are they doing on these other planets? Oh, they're slaves. Just like us here. We've been raised to be slaves. But we've been evolving, so we're not really good slave material anymore. We can actually be part of a higher order of things, a higher infrastructure of things. We're more useful that way. We're more useful as... Uh, well, I guess we would call it cyborgs. You know, a transhumanist agenda that we get upgraded so that we can participate at a higher level. Of slavery. <laughs>